Manhattan has many observation decks, but only one puts you an insane 1,200 feet above New York City, the highest you can go. What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to New York City. Today, we're visiting one of the Big Apple's many observation decks, One World Observatory. Is it the best that NYC has to offer? Finesse that like button, and let's find out. One World Trade Center is located in the Financial District in Lower Manhattan at 285 Fulton Street. The building was designed by David Childs of the architectural firm Skidmore, Owens & Merrill. At 1776 feet tall, it is the tallest building in New York, the United States, and the Western Hemisphere. Construction wrapped up in 2013, and a year later, the seventh tallest tower in the world opened up for business. To get to One World Observatory, take the one train to WTC Cortland, the E train to World Trade Center, or the four or five train to Fulton. Before we do anything though, we are in New York City, so we gotta grab a couple of slices of pizza. We just so happen to be by Joe's Pizza on Fulton and Nassau, and I've heard great things about this place, but I've never actually tried it. So let's go inside and see what they're all about. Right here, we got a slice of cheese and a slice of pepperoni. Nice and hot out the oven. So I landed in New York City a little bit earlier today and I guess I must have brought the cold weather from Chicago because it's like 30 something degrees right now and windy. So I'm really happy I'm gonna be up in the observatory. Make sure to keep it locked because I'll be comparing this experience to Sky Deck at Sears Tower and also 360 Chicago at the John Hancock Center. And if you love Chicago and NYC guides just like this one, make sure you subscribe. All right, so there are a few different ticket options when it comes to One World Observatory. You got standard, combination, and all-inclusive. Today, the standard was $38. It basically gets you entry to the observation deck and really not much of anything else. The combination ticket, which is $10 more, gets you priority security lane access, plus an iPad guide, which tells you all the buildings that you'll be seeing in those 360-degree views. Now, for $58, you can get the all-inclusive package, which gives you priority lane access. It gives you that iPad guide to the the Skyline, $15 cash to spend at their cafe or their gift shop, and it gives you a flexible arrival. You can choose morning or afternoon and then basically arrive at whatever time you want. The other two tickets, you have to arrive at that set time. If you don't, I think they said that basically you have to get in another line and hopefully you'll get in. Today I went with the standard experience because it's a Tuesday, it's not gonna be that busy, and I figure, hey, you know, save a little bit of money. But uh, speaking of time, it's about 10 minutes until our entry time, so let's go check out One World Observatory. We just stepped in the building, it got super windy. I'm glad to be inside. All right, so we made it past security and we're about to go up in the elevators so we can go up to the observation deck. I cannot wait. Check it out, y'all. We got our own elevator at One World Observatory. It's gonna be fresh. I cannot wait to see the story of New York play out on this screen. Once you step off the elevator, there's a short film in a small room that they show you. Basically scenes from all around Manhattan. You know the deal. Then after that, you go to a little photo section, which is pretty standard for observation decks. Usually I do skip those, but whatever reason, I just stood there and let them take a couple of pictures. I'm probably not gonna buy it unless it's like just the most fire photo of myself that I've ever seen, ever. There's a great view of Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge. You got the Woolworth building in there, Civic Center. I could see parts of Chinatown. There's that Jenga building. Great views from up here. Once you're up in the observation deck, you have 360 degree views of Manhattan, New Jersey, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, all of New York you get to see from up here, you're high. We are 102 floors up and those elevators get you up here quick. They also have a restaurant and a cafe here. 
they're a little bit on the pricier side. I was about to get an espresso, but then I saw the $8 price tag, and I'm like, I don't know if that's worth it. You can hang out up here pretty much as long as you want, get photos, selfies, video. They also have some professional photos, and you can buy them before you leave. So is this the best observation deck in New York City? Well, I guess it depends on what you're looking for in an observatory. It definitely stands alone in more ways than one, but it is the only observation deck in Lower Manhattan. The rest are in Midtown, Top of the Rock, Empire State Building, The Edge, and Summit One Vanderbilt. This is gonna be a super high view. You're 100 floors up, so depending on the vantage point that you want, you're able to see Lower Manhattan and also, of course, Liberty Island, Staten Island, the Brooklyn, Williamsburg, and Manhattan bridges are all visible from here. You could pretty much see everything, even into New Jersey, if that's the view that you want. That is the view of Lower Manhattan. You can see Governor's Island off in the distance. How does it compare to Skydeck Chicago? Well, I would say it really doesn't. Two completely different observatories. Obviously, not only are they in different cities, but Skydeck kind of offers you the glass box, which is an experience unique in its own. Up here, they don't have any kind of experience where you could stand in a glass box or anything like that, but you do have views all around the building and the windows go from floor to the high ceiling. So it allows for some pretty epic views. Obviously it helps just like any other observation deck that you're gonna go to, you're gonna wanna go on a clear day. Right now there are only a few clouds in the sky which make for a really pretty background, but overcast days or foggy days would probably be a no-no. I think they do kind of offer you an exchange on your time slot if you come here and the weather's not good for observing stuff. I would say some of the pros and cons of One World Observatory. Definitely the pro is that you can see all of Midtown and Upper Manhattan from here, not to mention the other islands. The price of admission isn't too bad either. $38 plus taxes, I think it came to around $50. I think that's worth it for getting these views. You can get lots of videos, lots of photos, and just kind of hang out here. Some of the cons though is that there isn't really a cool experience to be had here. You're kind of just walking around and looking at the views. There are a lot of people here that are just on their phones, which I personally don't get. Why would you pay 50 plus dollars just to come up here and sit on your phone? I say get up the elevator, take your photos, take your videos, maybe grab a coffee or whatever, and then head back down. By the way, if you are gonna plan a whole day out of this in Lower Manhattan, I have a complete playlist with things to do, foods, landmarks to see. Plus I did a pizza tour with the one and only John Barr, so be sure to check out the playlist. But let me know, have you been to the One World Observatory? Put it in the comments below. I will see you next time. Peace and blessings.